Perfect Moments, Part 3. Our emotions are a guide to what we may be bringing our way. If we're tense and uptight, that is not a good sign. It's important at this point to differentiate again between effort and struggle. This is a world of birthing. We can't just think about what we want and have it be so. Parentheses, if we could, we'd also home or lie in bed all day but we need to walk it out of the world so don't think in order to be successful that you need not work hard of course you must but working hard doesn't mean that one needs to be stressed or all out of whack if you are following your bliss and doing what you love then work and play come much closer together if you don't love what you do then maybe you should either try harder to love it or like it substantially at a minimum or if this proves too difficult, trade it in for another line of work that you can feel really good about. Positive emotions are health. They are wealth. They are all things that flow out of a sense of fullness. So pay attention to what your emotions, your emotional guidance system is telling you. If you can always move in a direction of feeling better and better, then you're on the right path. Now, positive emotions is not necessarily the same thing as pleasure, not by a long shot. Sometimes we can feel good about something even when it is uncomfortable or difficult. Perhaps, for example, because we feel good about something, perhaps because we enjoy the challenge and see it as a positive, positive, or perhaps also because we feel strongly it is the right thing for us, part of our calling, you might say, and what we are meant to do. Effort with love feels good. Struggle feels bad. I'm sure you could easily see the difference. If you're struggling and struggling, take a moment or longer if you wish to take a step back and examine what you're going through. Life certainly has trials, difficult ones at that, but it's amazing how many people can weather even the most difficult trial, and not in agony but with acceptance, if not love, if we ascribe it the type of meaning that fits to what we love or are willing to do. Some might call that faith, some sacrifice, some acceptance, some love. So back to perfect moments. The successful have learned to be successful in no small part by getting the most out of the now. As Eckhart told detailed, there is immense power in the now. When you think about it, the now is, in the most real sense, all that there ever really is. Whatever happened to you in the past, what had happened to you is the now, the present. What is happening to you now is, of course, now. And whatever will happen to you in the future, when that does happen someday, will also be in the now. By definition, you can't ever live outside the present moment. How could you? You can imagine the future, but you're imagining it now, whatever that imagining occurs. You can remember the past, but you're remembering it now, whatever that remembering occurs. Life can be seen as perfect at perhaps any time. I'm not saying it's easy by any means, but more and more often, it is what successful people have learned well how to do.